welcome back. So, um, today I'm gonna be talking about TV must-haves. Um, some of the TV stuff that has helped me as a mother. So first off, let me start by saying that my daughter started TV at three months. So she started very early. Um, and like I said, a lot of people be like, no, she's not TV, she's just chewing on things. And you're gonna hear her now because she's starting to get fussy. So, um, when we took her for, I think it was her four month um, checkup, the doctor said she's definitely teething, you know, um, we don't, I don't see, like he was saying that he didn't see anything breaking through just yet, but that he definitely sees signs of teething. So anyways, you know, we went along, we just went with the flow, just went with the flow. <laughs> and we just got through it because honestly, I was just like so frustrated, like nothing was helping me. First of all, these toys that I'm showing you right now, did not help me at all. Now they work wonders, especially because I put them in the freezer. In the beginning, I did it. I didn't put them in the freezer when she was like three and four months and five months because I felt they were too cold for her, um, and she wasn't taking it. Like she, she was shaking. Just let it fall. So I was like, okay, let me just give it to her, non-cold, you know, fr not frozen, just out of you know, the fridge. I would put it in the fridge, leave it cold but not frozen. See, this is frozen not frozen so it, it was a big difference but now she takes it pretty good um so like i said she started teething at three months she didn't start getting teeth like her two bottom teeth didn't start coming out so she was eight months and mind you she's gonna be one on the 16 and it's crazy she still doesn't have four teeth now the top the top the two top ones are coming in now so like I said, every baby's different and everybody takes their time. So your baby might start getting teeth at four months. I had a friend who her baby started getting teeth at four months and he's one now and he has eight teeth. So he has more teeth than my daughter. And they're only, what, a week apart. He's a week older than my daughter. So like I said, everything is, you know, everything, every baby's different. So anyways... So this is another TV one. This is from the dollar store. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I put everything down below for you guys in the description, every link, so you guys can get this stuff. This, I won't put a link because really this is just from Rite Aid, the dollar store, Family Dollar. Anywhere you go, you can find these um, and freeze them up. These, oh my gosh, these came in so handy. I was just telling a friend of mine of these, about these. Baby Gannix TV Gel Pods. You moms must try these. Let me tell you, um, first we bought Origel because I was like, okay, my mom used it for me, so why not, you know, um, I can use it on my daughter. But it's so bad to have the mentality, trust me, do not have the same mentality as your parents, <laughs> especially if they're crazy because uh, my mom was like, oh no, Origel works for anybody, for any baby, you can do it. And I said, no, like I'm not doing that. So, um, because clearly when you buy Origel, it says, I believe, two years and up. So I don't, I don't want to do that. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Like, I feel like that's dangerous. Something can happen to my daughter. So I was just freaking out. We only did it twice and we only did it like once a day because technically we shouldn't be, we shouldn't have done it at all. So I felt so guilty now that I think about it. This is safe. So ingredients that it has is coconut oil, clove oil, and stevia. I'm not sure if I'm saying it right. Stevia, stevia. Um, but you moms have to purchase this. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. If I can get this open, because I always have a hard time. Oh, I left the Q-tips upstairs, but it basically comes with Q-tips. It, it brings the Q-tips for you, and this is how tiny it is. Literally, and you're only gonna need like one dip, and that's it. Um. And there was one time that my daughter was really fussy and she I can tell she was in a lot of pain because nothing was soothing her. Not the milk, not nothing. And now, let me tell you, as soon as I put this thing, in less than, I wanna say five minutes the most or less, she started, she was perfectly fine. She was in such a happy mood and I said it was definitely the gums because there's no way she just got happy out of nowhere after I gave her this. So another thing is the raspberry pacifier. This helped a lot as well. In the beginning, like I said, her mouth was so tiny that nothing fit. So we just had to pull through it as it is. I would give her my, my finger or 
um, anything that I can find that will soothe her. I will also um, get, oh, man, I left them upstairs, but they were like, um, they look like towels, but they're like bathing towels. I will get those and rub it around her gums and it will make her feel good too. So you moms can use that as well when they're really tiny. Um, so the raspberry pacifier, you will have that down below. That's We bought that at Rite Aid, but you can find that at ShopRite as well because I've seen it. Now, this is wonderful too. This has two different textures, um, and it's the newbie brand. It's Chewbies, I think. They're Chewbies. They can chew on this, and it's wonderful. Like, they both got different textures, both sides. So this is really good too. I will have that link down below for you moms as well. Now, this is what I was telling you guys before, the amber necklace. I actually found it. This is the one that the baby wears. And I'm sorry if I'm talking a lot, but I'm trying to get you as much information as I can. So, this I found on Amazon. So, um, the baby wears this, and obviously, it can only be worn during the day. You should never have your baby sleeping with anything on them. I learned that straight up. My daughter still doesn't sleep with a blanket, and she's almost worn. Still. Um, and let me tell you, she's perfectly fine. Um, she does not miss it. She does not need it right now. <laughs> um, they can choke. They can suffocate with anything they sleep with. So please, no teddy bears, no nothing. I'm the type of mom. I'm so picky. Um, so I'm sorry if you don't like that. That's just me. You don't have to follow my instructions. That's just me, and that's just how I was raised. So um, this is really good. So apparently, it has something on the necklace. The necklace itself has some type of oil, body oil that. I don't want to say it, it goes inside the body because that's kind of weird. But once this necklace connects with your child's body, it does something that it literally calms them down. Let me tell you when I bought this. Well, before I bought it, my daughter would be fussy. Oh, my gosh. It would be, like, really bad, the teething stage. And I went to a very tough time, through a really tough time, the teething, through the, through the teething stage. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so tired. It's like 8 o'clock right now. I'm completely tired. But through the teething stage, we went through a really hard time with her. And I said, what the heck? And I did not know about this amber necklace until my uncle's wife posted it on Facebook. And I said, what? And she said, any mommy that's going through teething struggles, I suggest this necklace. And let me tell you, as soon as I purchased it, I would put it on every time I knew my daughter was waking up fussy. And I knew that it was going to be a bad day for her. And it will be so soothing the day because it the necklace does something to them that it soothes them. It, I guess it just, I don't know, they become a total different person. Um, and it really helped her. It really helped her. I noticed the difference. I gave it a week and I told my husband, I would look at him and I'm like, can you tell that she's, you know, she's feeling better. Um, she's not crying as much. Like she was still crying. I'm not going to lie to you, but it wasn't like hysterical. Everything will be a lot better, I want to say, with the necklace. And then I purchased the one. This was $20. I bought it on Amazon because nowhere, I don't think anywhere else sells it. Um, from what I know, I only was able to purchase it on Amazon. So you can buy the mommy necklace and the child's necklace. Or you can just purchase this one alone if you like. Um, and I think it's like $15 for it alone. I'm not too sure. But like I said, I have the link down for you guys. Um, and they have different colors too. I bought this one because I feel like it'll match with everything. But they have different color ones. And this one, the mommy wears it. And whenever you're holding them, you know, since we get to hold them a lot when they're tiny and they're still not walking. Like I still hold my daughter because she's still not walking. She stands. She tries to throw a couple steps, but she's not fully there yet. So this really helps. And now, oh my gosh, my daughter loves this. Like now we'll put this around her neck and she chews on this. Um... So, yeah, and by the way, it's one size, so it will fit your baby's neck. There's no way your baby's neck is bigger than this. So, it doesn't fit me, but it will fit your baby. Um, I've been thinking of putting it on lately because she's starting to get really fussy. But this helped for a very long time, you guys. So, definitely purchase that. Anything that you've seen here is very helpful. These are very helpful as well. Do not do Orija, please. Please don't do it. Um, especially if your baby... Excuse me, especially if your baby is under two, please. All right, guys, so this is it for my video today. I hope it was helpful. And if it was, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't done so, remember to subscribe. Thank you.